Hello, this is a short video just to show you um, if you're having trouble with the grinder getting jammed, occasionally what happens is, well, let me explain just how this is constructed. So if we loosen the screw, right, this adjustment screw obviously screws onto this metal, metal post. It's a threaded metal post. And at the base of this post is a square shaped metal lug that that the inner grinder and the um, the inner grinder this is the inner grinder the outer grinder is this outer ceramic here so as you can see there's a square mounting hole that sits atop this square lug down here and then of course you just have the spring on top of that right so the spring sits on top of that mounting lug and then this square mounting hole has to line up perfectly with that mounting lug and then as the screw goes down it, it simply pushes that in until it's flush or as as much open or close as you want to make your grind right and there's a little bit of slack in there it's not a perfect fit but it needs to have a little bit of slack so it can move around so there's two ways that this thing can get jammed up. Um, the most obvious way is if there were a piece of salt, like hard rock salt or something else, usually something hard like rock salt, stuck between the inner and outer grinder, then of course, adjusting the screw, as you're twisting this down, it's trying to force, it's trying to force the inner grinder down on, into the outer grinder with a piece of salt in between and it can't because it's just jammed up. So if that happens, loosen it up a little bit and just tap it down until that, that little bit of salt falls back into the storage compartment or you can just grind it until that piece of salt is, you know, um, broken up and then you should be able to grind it. But that would be the first thing I would check if you're having trouble adjusting this, pushing it back down again. If that doesn't do it, then probably what happens is you, you loosened it too much and this thing came off of its pedestal Right, sorry, it, this is a very weird camera angle for me. It's like right in front of my face, so I'm <laughs> trying not to block it. Um, if this comes off its pedestal just a little bit and it's a little off kilter like that, and you're trying to adjust it, you're pushing down a, and it gets stuck on the pedestal, right? So it has to line up perfectly. Now, if you were to just um, put this back on and try to adjust it right here, it will probably jam up because it's it's moving the inner the inner grinder and it's going to get stuck on its pedestal i hope that makes sense so a lot of times when i've tried to uh sort of put these back together again it'll get jammed up see i think right now it's doing that yeah it's getting jammed up right about there so what's happening is it's actually stuck on its pedestal and that's why this won't twist anymore if you keep if you keep twisting it you're basically just jamming it up further and eventually you're just going to snap that inner lug off the inner lug is made of steel but it's not the highest quality steel okay this is a 15 dollar product it's it's not you know built of high quality surgical grade stainless steel this is stainless steel i don't believe that that inner screw is we don't actually manufacture the products just Full disclosure, we source them from a manufacturer in China, as all the grinders on Amazon are. So if that happens, what I would do is I would push this down as much as you can with your finger. Start, well actually first just start getting this, start the threading, right? But if it gets jammed up like that, um, what I do is I actually use a knife. Um, keep the blade away from you as best as you can. And this is, again, very difficult for me to do with the camera in front of my face. But I actually push it down like that, so it's all the way down. That grinder is all the way down. And then you're going to thread this down while the grinder is all the way depressed. Does that make sense? So the, the grinder is flush at the bottom, right? And now we're just going to twist this down until it's adjusted. And sometimes a knife is gonna be in a weird spot and you'll have to kind of adjust it again. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm off camera now. It's spinning very freely. 
have the knife on the edge of the inner grinder and I'm able to adjust the screw all the way down. Okay, now you can see that it's pretty much close and I can adjust it all the way down. When you go to refill it, um, I would have the screw as far down as possible, right? And then refill it and then adjust it by opening it just a little bit at a time, twisting it, grinding it, adjusting a little bit more by opening it, twisting and grinding it. Trying to adjust it back the other way, again, is tough because now you have salt bits stuck inside of there. And that's where most people screw up is they try to adjust this when there's salt stuck in between the two. And of course you can't compress the salt. Um, so you wanna make sure that, like I said, you ground everything out of the two grinders, tap out any residual stuff, and then you can adjust it. I hope that helps. Um, I've been using this thing, these for years very little problems, but I'm used to taking them apart and reassembling them. So there's just some uh, information that might help you if you have that problem. Oh, one last thing. Um, you might wanna just put a little tiny bit of olive oil, just literally one drop on the top of that screw. So it kind of helps to lubricate these, uh, these metal parts. Um, it'll make the twisting and the adjusting a lot easier. Um, obviously don't put any water in here because water and salt will be very corrosive, um, even with this is decent quality stainless steel, but water and salt over time will kind of corrode this. So you want to keep this dry, but just a drop of um, olive oil or vegetable oil or, or even coconut oil uh, will help to keep this very smooth and, and uh, lubricated. Okay, hope that helps.